Now, this is a fascinating story, Evan. So there are real concerns for Armagard's future and quite possibly the acceleration of the death of cash. Yeah, and this story is getting more and more, you know, shined because it's actually now becoming a real issue that could actually happen on Tuesday. So the reason mm. I say that, there is a currently a, an agreement or a guarantee between Lindsay Fox's Lynn Fox service and Armour Guard that guarantees its service to next Tuesday. Now, at the moment, there is a deal in front of Armour Guard and also Lynn Fox around a $26 million bailout for the next several months by the banks, Australia Post, and also non-lenders that distribute physical cash. But that doesn't guarantee its long-term future. The moment, Lynn Fox has not accepted that deal. So the reason that's so important is there is a now a chance that the distribution of physical cash could actually cease in the short term. It probably won't. I need to point that out there, but it probably mm. won't. So much so that Coles, for example, which is actually one of the largest distributors of physical cash, because when people pay, they also get cash out, has now limited the amount you can take out. So they are now limiting that to 50 bucks a transaction until this deal gets done. It has to mm. get done. But as the, you know, the ABA, so the Australian Banking Association, headed by Anna Bly, points out, we have a massive geological problem in the fact that most of cash is used in remote areas. So getting cash to places like Broome or into the remote parts of Western Australia and Northern Territory is incredibly expensive. But the other thing that's happening is the amount of distribution is falling. So you've got high costs, you've got staff that are very expensive because they have to be trained, yeah. have gun licences and insurance, but the amount of actual deliveries is falling like a stone. So the business is becoming very, very unsustainable. And the question that everybody's asking is, who ends up paying? Is it the banks? Is it a Australia Post? Or is it the end user that has to pay the distribution costs to get cash to them? Fascinating. Evan, as always, thank you.